Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome and welcome to the end of the year Project Pen final update. I've actually skipped my last, which is my third update, since I haven't been using it a lot. Um, to be honest, there isn't much of like a change. There are a few things in which I'm pretty happy, but there is a lot of fails to start with. So if you want to know what I've put it in from the very start, I'll leave that video and playlist somewhere down below. I will still do a project pen next year, but I'm actually hoping to do a mixture of skincare and makeup because skincare is something I really dedicating using all makeup I don't use it as often so it's really hard for me to have a progress but nevertheless we have a start we have to have a finish this is like I, I need to give a period on this whole playlist I think that's something to me also something to anyone who is following this so without further ado let's grab my box and everything inside Starting with primer, I did start use the W71 and I thought I had a huge progress. I'm definitely going to finish it by the end of the year. You know what? I didn't use as much ever since the last update. And then I broke the case, so it's half um, completely broken, just only got one side lingering on. I really didn't use as much, but I'm actually thinking just getting rid of this one because I do have a full new one as a backup. This one has been worn pretty bad and when it gets to the corners, it's actually really hard to picking up the product. I don't have a lot of nails now, but I use, I mean, long nails. I used to have longer nails and that's making extra difficult, like you have to get a spoolie instead of using it, just use a fingertip. So that was a bit of, you know, another excuse for me to not to use it. And I also put in a new primer, which is this one during my second update, I think. This is the Sofina Long Keep Base UV, it's like SPF primer. I've actually scaled it today and it looks like I've used up half of a gram compared to the last update. That is not bad, but I've only used it like for a few times. So I would say if I consistently using this, I'll probably finish this. Mm, but I still feel like it's been long enough that I'm happy just to get rid of it. Like I tried to use it and I really couldn't, you know, then why keep it in your collection? This is more like a decluttering video now think of it. And then for foundation, I've got two. I've got one not so much progress and one really good progress. The great progress one is actually one of my favorite and that is something we're going to do next year as well. Putting something I love using. Every time I use it, I feel like, oh my god. God, this is so good. This is already to a point that I have to put it upside down and I can no longer use the palm because I think it just have a little bit on the side of the border, like dripping down to the very tip here. It's been like what I've put on today is this makeup and still looking really, really good. Just scaling this roughly, I've used up, let me have a look. I've used that from 90 something gram from last update to 73 74 so that is actually a lot of use so i'm actually going to use it all the way to the bottom to the point that i can no longer get any single bit out of it because i'm really loving this so i might actually take this with me for travel i know it's a chunky like glass bottle but it's worth me taking this with me for travel it's so good and the other foundation is the ysl what is it called Thunder Tint Stick Stick Foundation, I'm going to shade BD20. I've only used it a few times, like I'm still having the same sort of thinking about this one as in I can't wear this if I'm going out for a long period of time. If it's a short period, I know I'll be two, three hours and then be done. I'm happy to put this on, but I think there's a lot of times when I do my makeup, I do it early in the day and I fume and do all the errands throughout the day. That's where I went for this one. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna get rid of it. It's expensive and I bought it myself, so we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Moving on to concealers, I've actually finished the one, and if you guys know, that's the Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. That is a big concealer and I finished all of it. I'm really happy. The other one in my collection is the Moe's Own Concealer Palette. I use this one today again, and I have to say, yes, it's really just a light coverage and it's moisturizing, but it sometimes cakes a little bit. So I feel like I've given it a good use and I try different seasons, you know, give me all the excuses, reasons to put this into end of the test. And I still don't found it loving it and I had it for long enough. So this one will go as well. <laughs> And then moving on to setting powders, I finished on my Essence All About Matte, that is a completely gone. I've actually had a little bit and it all shattered and I kept it nicely. 
and it's I used it a few times but it was just not as good performance as it used to when it pressed hard into the pan. I can no longer repress it because it was just so little uh, product left. So I say goodbye to that one and I'm really happy to finish that one. I really do think if you are someone new to makeup and you want something super affordable, a huge pan size, you can use it without thinking, worrying about money, go for the essence, except one thing, it's very fragile. Apart from that, it's actually good. It's not the best, but it's very affordable. The other one that I've got is the e.l.f. one that I think I've used a little bit since last time. Let me have a look, see if I scale it last time. It was 20 grams last time. So looking at today, it's still 20 grams. So I did use it actually, but I guess setting powder, it's a little bit hard. Um, I'm planning keeping this one and use it all the way to the bottom because I do really enjoy this, but I'm actually depotting to a bigger pan, maybe using the essence one and just put it on my vanity because it's a little bit tricky to get the powders out. So yeah, that's that one. And then we have a face palette. This is the designer brand Shine Bright Base Face Palette, which from so many years ago, their holiday collection. I really loved everything in here, except the cream blush, which I've taken out because it was just so not smelling so well. I don't use this blush at all. I used a fair bit of the bronzer, but you can tell it's starting hard in pan. Same with the highlighters. So I loved it, and I even think deep potted, but since the condition has gone back, the quality is no longer there. It's time to say goodbye. I'm really happy had this in my project painting year because if I didn't use it this year, I'd probably never get the chance to use it in the future. So that's a really happy put it into project pen. And then we have a few um, eyeshadow. I mean, a few eyeshadow palettes. Or who am I kidding? I've got three eyeshadow palettes here. The one that I use the most is actually the Maybelline Lemonade Craze, and that is also the one that I put on my eyes today. I'm not the I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not really good at doing eyes, <laughs> my face, is, well, none of this is like brilliant, like something that you can learn, but I like to share. And I have to say, I was thinking about getting rid of this, and I'm still planning to, but I really do enjoy the color shades in here. However, this yellow shade completely fell out, it wasn't shattered, it was just two pieces out when I opened this palette, it was like sitting on top of it. The shimmer one completely shattered, I repressed it in. I so enjoy the color story, the color combination. So I will get rid of this one, but I don't know if I could have found similar enough in my collection, which I think I do have similar things, but if I'm always thinking about and trying to get another one of these, I will eventually get a new one as a backup. And the other one is the one that I've got a story behind it that I mentioned in my first video, so if you haven't no, that story it was a bit of a tearing story. I'll leave it somewhere here. This is the Lime Crime Color Design. This is actually a gift with purchase eyeshadow quad and it's already hard and pan. I think it was hard and pan when I started using it, but the color payoff was actually good. But as I'm using it, I think it no longer has any color payoff now. I love it. It contains all of the memory, but I think it's time to move on. I actually have a new shadows with memory, so I have something to pass on. I have places to hold on to my memories and this can go and I loved it so much. The last one of the least is something that I'm still like struggling whether to keep in my collection is the designer brand's mineral eyeshadow quad I've got in the shade. Did you go to the shade name? In the shadows. So this is the one that comes with a deep dark black. They give you numbers one, two, three, four, so it makes the whole application a bit easier. It's alright, like it's not the best, it's not the worst. I thought the black would be really good for an eyeliner situation when you want to use an eyeshadow. Not really, like the staying power is not there for an eyeliner purpose. And these three shades are very common. I actually do prefer the designer brands Big Face Palette, which they had the limited edition Autumn Haze. That one has similar stories, but a little bit more brown, like more modern to these days. This is like an old classic. So I actually have another thing about it. If I couldn't justify it more, I will get rid of it. But if I can figure out a way to maybe feature in the videos in the future, then I will keep it for that purpose. Because it's a um, Australian brand and I do have a few designer brands which may be able to perform a full phase of product and then moving on to eyeliners I've got this the flick the quick flick eyeliner I've actually got the other one in my toiletry bag right here so I've actually used quite a lot of these let me do a quick scale for it 
Okay, both of these are still weighing the same. Both of these are still 13 grams. So, but I definitely noticed a difference. Like one of this one, I believe this, because I've no longer seen the labels where this is still nicely intact. Um, this side, when I want, whenever I want to use it, I do have to shake it very well to actually get ink out to the tip of the pen. So, although I can't see the change in scale but it's actually making a progress and i'm not regretting like this is a really good product for me to keep in my collection i'm actually thinking of repurchase in the future if they have a good deal but i'll definitely go for a smaller one because i've got it in the 12 millimeter size for a wing i mean seriously <laughs> that, that's gonna be like a chunk wing so i'll go for the smallest one in the future if i'm gonna get one but i do like their performance they keep a perfect to use to draw wings and it stays all day like doesn't really matter what you go through, it stays all day, as long as you don't wash it. So that's the eye. And then the mascara, I've got the L'Oreal mascara and I've completely finished that one. After the other L'Oreal one, I tried the Essence one, which I didn't really like, so I swapped it out. And then I put in the BOS Barbie um, mascara. This mascara is actually really good and that's what I've got on my eyelashes today. But I feel like it's getting a little bit of dry now than before when I first tried. So I forgot the shade of the wand, so it's got a little curve there. And it got bristles on both sides, so I do do upside down to do the outer and inner lashes and the rest will just brush the normal way. I'm still loving it, although I know it's getting to like a drier and drier formula. I prefer when it was wet when I first opened it. So I'll take this one for travel and then we'll see after that. I do really love this one. I think I might actually have a backup when they were on sale because I'm not quite sure the regular line performers are the same as the special edition when they collaborate with Barbie. But yeah, this is a good one. The Barbie collection from BYS, a lot of the eye products are really good. Face products, not so much, but the eyeliner, brow pen, and the mascara, I really like all three. Is that all for the eyes? Oh, eyebrow. The eyebrow product, I've actually put the majority of the things on my face today, so I can show you. This is a Savvy by Designer Brand Brow Liner, I've been in the color gray. This is the one came in broken, so I've actually used quite a lot. Only this much is left. I was thinking just getting rid of it because I really hate it, but I used it the other day after a few days not using this one but other brands. And I think it's actually working good again. So, you know, sometimes you just have to keep swapping things. So you can always find the love towards it. So my aim is still to finish this one. When I'm looking at the length, it's definitely making a difference. So, yeah, there you go. And then moving on, the last one, not the lips, are the lips. I've got three lip products here. Oh, something just fell. The lip duo is from the face shop. Last time it was 13 gram. Today it's... 13 gram as well. I've only used it for a few times. Before I applied this lip color on, um, well I had lunch obviously, but I did use this one to at the start of the video, see if I can find a video or like a screenshot where I was filming. And that was the lip color. I still really love it. I still have the lip liners on the outer line. And then I put the a NYX Simple Nude Lip Stick or what it's called, Lip Crayon on. And this one was measuring 15 grams last time, and we are measuring 14 grams. That's pretty good. I've only used it for a few times. Like, I took this one with me for travel, but during the travel at the early of 2021, I've actually used a lot of the roll on lip oil, which the one I'm disliking. So, yeah, I didn't get much of use. This one make me make me make my lips dry a little bit. Um, so I don't use it every day now. I use it every now and then. The one I actually love the most is this Color Me um, lip pencil or crayon, you can say. This is the Big W House brand. When I look the length left, the last time when I put on cap, I can still see Color Me, the whole name. Now when I put the cap on, I can only see color. So I've definitely used a fair bit of it. And I'm really loving this color. This is like my lips but better burgundy-ish color. There's also a my lips but better nude-ish color that I like. Um, but I try to look for another one of these as a backup. I know this whole line from Big W are discontinuing. They do have all the other two shades, but it wasn't like my perfect shade. I want to get this one, but this was no longer to be able to found. So I think it's good for me just to use it up myself off camera and then put it on something that you guys can see. I did, when I was looking at the photos, I found out I had a, a brow gel. That brow gel finished so long ago. And then I put in the Savvy by the 
designer brands a clear brow gel but I didn't have much of use like even today I didn't put any brow gel on I just put this liner on by itself and I still think it's pretty good unless it's a very sweaty hot rainy day or one of those situations I don't remember putting a brow gel on so that's probably why I didn't like officially put in a new one and try to project penning it all right, that is everything for today's video. I know I didn't do a super good job, but I'm happy that I still decluttered a few and I really tested for the entire year to give me a, a final verdict to keep it or leave it. I hope you guys enjoyed today. If you also did a project pen, please leave a comment down below. Let me know how you went. I will still do a project pen next year mixing skincare and makeup products. So please stay tuned and please trust me. I will try my best to finish my next year project penny. That is all for today. I hope you guys have a really good day. Enjoy some holiday. Enjoy some sunshine. Don't forget your sunscreen. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!